50 solving rational inequalities. Let's take a look. Where is the expression equal to zero? Well, the numerator would be zero, therefore we're gonna factor. We get x squared times x plus four equals zero. There's two zeros, x is zero, x is negative four. Then where does the denominator equal zero? That's gonna give us the asymptotes. So therefore we have x is six, x is negative six. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test these different boundaries. So is this, because remember this is an inequality, so therefore these, each of these intervals, excuse me, not boundaries, intervals, is a potential correct answer. So we're gonna use negative 10 to help us find out whether or not negative infinity to negative six is a correct answer to this inequality. So we plug negative 10 in to the inequality. So we get 100 times, uh, what is that, negative six. So therefore, negative 600 for the numerator over, the denominator would be, well, this is negative four times, negative, negative four times negative 16, which is uh, positive 64. So therefore, this is a negative answer. We want less than zero, so therefore this is correct. Now we're gonna try the interval negative six up to negative four by plugging negative five in. So we plug negative five in, so we're gonna get negative, two, we're gonna get positive 25 times negative one. So negative 25 over one times negative 11, which is negative 11, therefore positive, therefore, not the correct answer because we want less than zero. Now we're gonna plug negative two in. Negative two squared is four. Four times two is eight. Uh, negative two over here, again with four times negative eight, which is negative 32, which is a negative number, therefore, bam, negative four comma zero, that interval does work. Plug in two, we're gonna get four times six, which is 24, over eight times negative four, which is negative 32. This is a negative number also, therefore, bam, this is a correct interval so actually zero comma four that would be a correct interval to this all right let's take a look at uh, plugging in 10 10 will give us 100 times 14 which is 1400 over 16 times negative 4 which is negative 64 which is a negative number therefore this is correct so we have all of these work except for the interval between negative six and negative four, so therefore the answer is negative infinity up to negative six, union, negative four up to zero, union, zero to four, union, four to infinity. So everything except for the negative six to negative four interval. All right, good times.